Hello and welcome back to the Wandering Wind Search, everyone. I'm your digital miss video missionary, Gregory, and today I want to go through day 14 of the Life Recovery Devotional. The title for today's reading is Destructive Pride, and our Bible reading for today is Acts 8, 9 through 23. Step one, we admitted that we were powerless over our dependencies and that our lives had become unmanageable. For many of us, personal power is used as the foundation for our self-esteem. We become used to getting things our way through whatever influences we have at our disposal, money, power, sex, love, etc. It can be very unsettling to arrive at a place in life where we can't buy the power we need. For those of us who use power to bolster our self-esteem, admitting powerlessness will require a foundational change. A man named Simon had been a sorcerer. Everyone, from the least to the greatest, often spoke of him as the Great One, the power of God. Then Simon himself believed that Jesus was the Messiah. When Simon saw that the Spirit was given when the apostles laid their hands on people, he offered them money to buy this power. But Peter replied, May your money be destroyed with you for thinking God's gifts can be bought. You can have no part in this, for your heart is not right with God. Repent of your wickedness and pray to the Lord. Perhaps he will forgive your evil thoughts, for I can see that you are full of bitter jealousy and are held captive by sin. Simon realized he was powerless in this situation. He admitted his pride and powerlessness and was able to change. We need to be aware of how pride can hinder us. We can't buy our way out of addiction. No matter how powerful we are in worldly terms, our recovery will come by working a program day by day. Our recovery can only begin as we give up our efforts and our pride. This really is um, a, a very uh, powerful statement for a lot of us in recovery because honestly, many of us, especially the, one, the people that I know in recovery, come from the older generation where the mentality is that you work, you work, you work for what you get. You, you can only get what you need in life by working. And so there are a lot of people in, um, in recovery that have to relearn that not everything can be earned through just your own actions, but rather we need to give up our efforts and accept the help of others and accept the help of God, because that is the only way we find lasting and true recovery from addiction. Any other way is only temporary and often leads to emptiness and lack of, of recovery. As always, the, the program of life recovery, the process of recovering from addiction, is not a leaps and bounds process, but rather a moment-by-moment, step-by-step lifestyle. So just because you're not moving fast doesn't mean you're not moving forward. As we say in the Life Recovery Program, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, but always moving forward towards the goal. You are never going to achieve perfection, but you can achieve progress. So please be kind to yourself, be understanding of yourself, but keep moving forward. Until next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing, liking, subscribing, donating, whatever you do to help support this ministry. Until next time, I am praying for your recovery, and I hope that you will pray for me as well. God bless you as you go, and have a wonderful week.